Hi, welcome to the Dutch Edition channel. In this video, I will show you how to make this exercise. And its name is Vibrator Arm. Well, this is the dimension for this part. And then, let's make modeling part now. From this SOLIDWORKS interface, let's start from front end. And make it a normal tool. And then, click to the sketch. And select the circle. And then click Smart Dimension, and I want to set the dimension value to point six two four, and this is the mid for this tolerance value. Next, click to this circle, and let's make a bigger one. Change the diameter value to one point six two millimeter. Zoom out by click on mid mouse and then let's make a horizontal. Connect, click a smart dimension, and change to point seven five millimeter for this distance, and then click term entities. And I want to remove this unnecessary line. And then let's add a line. Right click, click select. Right click and select. Well, give a small dimension and set the distance for this line, and it is 1.94 millimeter. Then, okay. Next, set 90 degrees. I'm sorry, set 60 degrees. For the next step, from this point to this point, give it one point eight eight millimeter. And then from this center circle, to this line, give it four point one two millimeter. And then set the distance from this line to this line, and it is zero point. Seven five millimeter mm 
max from this line set to 1.62 millimeter then apply one point six two meter then click to this three point arc slot and then click to this line right click and click select press and hold the control button then click to this sketch make it tongue in and then click and set the radius to 0.5 millimeter well and then apply next let's trim entities to delete the unnecessary line make sure turn to close is selected then click to this line next step let's give the thickness from the sketch by click of viewers then go to extrude was Change the row, set a point seven five, and then click to this sketch, then apply. Next, click to this toggle, and then go to the sketch, click extrude walls. And then set a value 0.75 millimeter too, and then click this sketch and apply. Well, for the next step, I wanna give the jumper from these edges by click to this toggle jumper. And then set a value to set a value to point seven a uh, point twenty five millimeter and there are the angle it is forty five degrees and then click to these edges then apply Next, I want to give this hollow in this surface part, feeders, and go to hollow wizard. Well, make sure legacy hole select, select it, and then from this type, you can drag to seaboard drill. And make sure the diameter is a 0.5 millimeter and then seaboard diameter and it is 0.75 millimeter and then there are the seaboard depth it is 0.5 millimeter and then click a position select to this surface and then let's click a small dimension to change and this distance it is 
from this stance small dimension set from this center point to this and it is 0.75 value to well and then click apply and then apply more click to this right click click sketch and go to select the circle and then I want to set the diameter value to 0.624 millimeter and then set the distance from this sides and it is 0.75 then apply click to this mid final line and then press and hold the control button then click to this center point from this circle uh, make it horizontal from this relation and apply next click of feeders and then extract cut from this direction one you can click this draw out and then apply Next, right click to the surface, click a uh, sketch, and then click to this toggle, click a center rectangle, search the midpoint line, and then click a small dimension. Escape. Set to point fifty millimeter. Then from this line, and set a value to point. One nine millimeter, and then click a feeders, then extract cut, from dark zone one box, click a uh, draw call, and then apply. Control 7 to make it an isometric view. Uh, and then, if you want to change the several, several surface color, click to this edit appearance. Right click, delete. And I want to click a solid face. And I want to set the color is white. And then let's select the surface. Then apply. Hi guys, the part is done. And I hope you like this video. If you want to 
search a similar tutorial you can check a playlist at last see you next time